Hey, it's Jared here. Um, I was recently asked by somebody that was investigating the scanner group to see if they wanted to join up and be part of our uh, group membership. They said, how did you trade this week? How did the week go for you? What's a typical stop loss? What's a typical profit target? What's some typical looking trades that you do in the scanner group? And I said, well, that's a good question. And so here's a video on how we did this week, how we did in the scanner group, what we were able to trade, how we entered, how we exited, and so on. Let's have a little look at it. So here we are, it's a lovely Friday, uh, and, uh, and, and the week has just ended trading. So let's see how the week started. Now we'll look at some groups here for, or excuse me, some dates here for a moment. Um, right now it is uh, Friday, uh, May 22nd. So the start of the week was you know, we'll just we'll just call it Monday. We didn't do too much Sunday night. We'll call it Monday, uh, May 18th. So how did we do from May 18th to May 22nd? Pretty average week in the scanner group. Let's have a little peek at this. Let's scroll back here. You can see that May 21st. You see those those numbers right there? May 20th, May 19th, May 18th. There you are. So we always start the scanner group. Here's our uh, here, here's the alert section right here. We always start the group off uh, with a, a, a video uh, during the beginning of the week. Everyone kind of had a little peek at that video. They said, "Okay, looks great. Video's awesome. Uh, here's what we're here's what we're trying to trade. Here's what we're looking at. Here's some you know some some interesting currency pairs that we're seeing and so on. So we start the week off with a video, a couple of descriptions of things that we're looking at and so forth. By May 19th, which I guess would have been, just to refresh my memory here, would have been a Tuesday. Uh, May 19th, I said, man, this New Zealand yen looks great. Let's trade the New Zealand yen. You can see all the reasons. This is what a typical trade alert looks like. People say, what do you, what do you include in your trade alerts? Is it just this stuff right here? A lot of trade alerts are just that, right? They just say, sell here, here's your stop loss, here's your target, done. You can see that mine say quite a bit more. I want to make sure that everybody learns what we're doing and has a better understanding of how they should be trading by the time we have done another trade, right? So we have uh, in the scanner group, remember we're watching the 200 exponential moving average. We're looking for, for big overbought, oversold markets and opportunities to trade those um, towards that moving average. And so it's a really great opportunity. Uh, we get some really good trades out of it. So uh, on Tuesday, we said, here's a New Zealand yen. Here's a new trade. Here's all the things I like about it. The resistance levels we're trading against. The bar counts are looking good. We have some awesome targets to trade towards. And here's what I'm looking for. I want to get in for a sell. Here's my specific entry, right? The market wasn't there yet. This is a sell at 65.80, sell limit, not yet filled. Stops above 66.10, so we're looking for about 30, 35 pip stops. Target 6520, so about a 60 pip profit target and a 30 to 35 pip um, stop loss. You can see right here that this was what the chart looked like, um, and and there's a little bit more uh, up close there. We're looking to sell here, trade this thing back down, go for it. So we had that. Okay, so that's a pending order hasn't been filled yet. That was Tuesday morning, bright and early, 5:05 a.m. Pacific time, and then I said, you know what? This euro dollar looks pretty good as well. Here's a pending order on euro dollar. And uh, again, all the things that I liked about the euro dollar and what I thought it should do. And I said, you know what? A pending order is coming. I don't have it yet, but it's coming. Posted that just minutes later. This was 5.05 a.m. This was 5.11 a.m. Everyone said, okay, great. I said, you know what? Forget about that. An hour later, 6.09 a.m. on the 19th, I said, we're going to put a pending order on the euro dollar. So I've already given all the details of what I like about the euro dollar. And about an hour later, I said, it's time to put a pending order in here. So we put a sell order on euro dollar, sell the uh, sell, uh, a sell limit not yet filled. So 109.50 is where we want it to sell uh, with a stop loss just, you know, 25 to 30 pips away, 109.75, 109.80. Targeting about 40 pips, 109.10. So we have two pending orders now by Tuesday morning, bright and early. I sent out an update here. 
Uh, also Tuesday morning, it takes a couple of hours. This was a little quicker than normal, but it was on a shorter term chart. And I said, okay, uh, just a little update. New Zealand yen that we've been waiting on for a couple of hours. The pending sell at 65.80 has filled. So sell 65.80 filled. Stop above 66.10. So again, 30, 35, 40 pip stop right in that area. Target 65.20. Looking for 60 pips on this one. So a couple hours later, that's seven. Uh, I, I, I post this at 7.20 a.m. on the 19th. So it took about two hours from the time I posted the entry till the time it filled. Um, and then uh, by about 12.39 p.m., so several hours later, five hours or so later, I said, okay, New Zealand yen that we got into at 65.80, you can see was sitting here at 65.61, so we were about 19, 20 pips in profit. And I said, let's protect, our, let's protect our profit. We're gonna move our stop loss to plus one, so now we have no risk on this trade and uh, we're still trying to let this run to 65.20. Well, uh, uh, not too long after that, moments after that, um, on the same day, so these were both posted in the morning, and by, you know, later in the morning, uh, they both filled. The euro dollar sell trade at 109.50 uh, filled, and it was actually, uh, it filled quickly and moved quickly, um, and so we moved our stops to one pip profit very quickly there. So now we're in two trades, Euro dollar and the New Zealand yen. So not too much longer on the same day here, several hours later I said, you know what? Our New Zealand yen closing order's happening. We're gonna get out of this thing. We got in at 65.80. We're gonna close it out at 65.35-ish area for about a 40 to 45 pip profit uh, on the trade. So we were in and out in several hours. Uh, worked out pretty well. And uh, you can see that we did a sell at 65.80 up here. This thing ran down to a pivot point, and I said, let's get out of this. Let's be done with this. So we got out with 40 to 45 pips profit. Piece of cake, worked out well. That was at 2 p.m. By about an hour later, I said, you know what? Let's close out of this euro dollar as well. So we got into the euro dollar at 109.50 for a sell, which was right about here. We got in just about the top of that trade. Um, and it had run down and started to consolidate around 109.20. So I said, we're going to get out of this about 10 pips sooner than our profit target. Now, it did end up going down more, and those that couldn't get out because they were at work or something would have just let it hit the profit target. It was fine. But we got out with 30 pips there. So by Tuesday, we had made 30 pips, and we made 40 to 45 pips. So we're up 70 to 75 pips already. And Wednesday rolls around, and I said, you know what? Pound CAD looks awesome. Here's all the reasons why I think the Pound CAD looks great. Pending order is on the way. So Pound CAD looks good for all these reasons. Feel free to pause this video and just read through all those reasons why I think it looks good. But that's why I thought it looked good. And I said, Pound CAD, I'm ready for this thing to break out and head higher. So then it takes about another day. I, I post that Pound CAD early in the morning on May 20th, and by May 21st, early in the morning, I said, you know what? I'm putting a pending buy order, a new order on the pound CAD, a pending buy order on pound CAD to get in at 169.90 with our stop loss just below 169.50. So we're looking for, you know, uh, uh, 40, 50 pip stop loss here, and I'm, I want to target 171.50, but likely we'll exit earlier. Uh, maybe even 170, 50, 170, 60. So that was posted at five o'clock in the morning, Pacific time on May 21st. Uh, by 7 a.m., two hours later, the pound CAD got filled and we were in the pound CAD. Here's a little update. We're gonna talk about a webinar on Friday. Uh, pound CAD closing order, again on the 21st. 9 a.m., so pending order at uh, 5 a.m. and a closing order by 9 a.m. Pound CAD trade is stalling out, let's take profit, and uh, we'll be looking for another opportunity to get in later. Buy at 169.90 was filled. Look at this thing, this dip down just, just two pips past our entry and then started to shoot up. It was actually a really great entry. Uh, we closed at 170.60 for 70 pips. So in and out in a couple of hours, 
So we ended up taking the New Zealand yen, the euro dollar, and the pound CAD. Um, and then uh, I've been working on a robot, working on a lot of other stuff, and so we had a big webinar to finish up the week. So we only ended up taking three trades in the scanner uh, group this week, but they were good for uh, pound CAD, was good for 70 pips. The uh, you can see right back here, our euro dollar trade was good for 30 pips. So 70 plus 30 is 100 pips. And then we got 40 to 45 pips out of that New Zealand yen. So we made between 140 and 145 pips um, in three trades. And they were all just a couple hours long, pretty low key, nothing too crazy to do. So that's what we did in the scanner group. It was awesome. Uh, we had some, there, there, there were some uh, pretty, pretty great comments in here. Um, I just released once again a robot and it's been very active. We've had just 1 million comments about it. Uh, but, uh, but somebody that just joined the group actually uh, posted this comment right here. And I'm just trying to see if I can find it. It's right back over here. Um, and I think it was pretty darn good. So great, great little comment here. Rondell here just joined the group with us, and uh, and and everybody is uh, having a great time. You know, we're just uh, we're just having a good time. You can see Emil here, lovely trades, Vidmal, uh, beautiful trades, uh, great trades. Rondell, who just joined the group uh, this week, said uh, joining this group was not a mistake at all. I have profited on every trade I've taken so far, which is awesome. So it's always nice to see that. I'm happy to see people making some uh, some profits and some pips. Uh, it's a great thing to do. So anyway, uh, that's how the week went in the scanner group. I hope you find it helpful and useful. And um, let us know uh, what you think. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, uh, just reply to this email. We're here and happy to help. But this might be a time to have a peek at the scanner group and see if you can step some trading uh, up and make things move a little bit more for you by being part of a group that has a lot of great traders and a lot of great ideas and a lot of great things going on. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks, everyone.